Hey everyone, do you want to stream as your favorite avatar on Zoom? Well, I'll show you how you can. Since Snapchat took away Snap Camera, we're going to need a few different software to do it. First, you're going to need to get Open Broadcasting Software. This allows you to put in different camera inputs and layer them so that you can have a different output of your choosing. Always check your links. We're also going to need something to stream from your iPhone or Android phone onto your computer. I'm using Lonely Screen because I use an iPhone on a Windows computer. If you use an iPhone and an iMac or a MacBook, you can do this automatically in the Air Mirror or the AirPlay settings. Air Lonely Screen is a free application, but it has a subscription model that features no ads. It allows you to stream from your phone directly to your Windows computer. If you use an Android phone, there's a number of apps that you can use. I haven't tried this one personally, but AirPlay for Android TV seems to do the job of streaming from your phone to your desktop computer. But next, you're going to want to open OBS Broadcasting Software. And you're also going to want to open the Lonely Screen Air Player or whichever Air Player screen you're using to screen from your phone to your computer. Here's a photo of my setup that I'm currently using. I've got my phone on a tripod and I've got that streaming to OBS on my desktop. Select Screen Mirroring to mirror to your computer software. Then open Snapchat and open one of our lenses that we have on our profile, Avatar Scan. Martha Davis currently nearly has a million views. <laughs> Some of our lenses on Snapchat feature a green screen. If it has a green screen, then you can use this to block out your normal human background to have a background of your choosing. In OBS software, open up a new scene. Add a new window capture. We're going to call this one Lonely Screen. Lonely Screen. We're going to call this one Lonely Screen. In the window, we're going to select Lonely Screen, and there it is. So as you can see in Lonely Screen, it's got all of the little side widgets and a lot of extra stuff that we don't really want to show on our broadcasting. You can hold down the Alt button and click and drag to crop the window. And you can make the window bigger. This is very important. Once you've got Lonely Screen open, do not close it or minimize it or the stream will freeze like this. You have to keep Lonely Screen open then to switch to another view if you want the stream to keep playing. If you're using one of our filters which has a green screen, right click that source in OBS, click filters, select add a filter, and select chroma key. The default color is green, and the default similarity is 400. You can adjust the setting to choose how much or how little green you want selected. Note if I go much over 400, the whole model starts to disappear. If I go under 400, I do get a bit of a green outline. 400 seems pretty good. Add a background, go to sources, select add, and select an image. You can browse for your images if you have some saved. Here I've got some backgrounds. We can select the Zeagle. You might find that your background comes first. Just drop it below Lonely Screen. Now your fluff is featuring on the background. <laughs> hey! Now to project this to zoom, we want to set this as a virtual camera. Click on the virtual camera settings, output the scene, and then select the scene that we want, which is scene. You can start the virtual camera, open zoom, start a meeting. Under the video settings, select the OBS virtual camera. And there we are in the Zoom meeting with our fluff in the Zeagle. Extra tip, you can also put a animated GIF file as your background. If you go to easythegif.com, upload an MP4 file of your favorite scene. The scene doesn't need to be very big, which helps to save the GIF file size. So I select 480 times auto, so that's 480 pixels on the bottom and automatic sizing down on the top but you do need a good frame rate, otherwise it'll look very choppy. So if you choose 25 frames per second, then the output is 12.69 megabytes, a very cultured file size. You can save that image to your backgrounds folder and then select the image as that GIF. Resize it, and with this one, the resolution actually fits the screen. And now you have an animated background in Zoom or for your broadcaster. Go back to Zoom meeting, and you're now the fluff in the after party. Or you can just be your favorite avatar watching your favorite influences on the YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. The Altered State Machine launches its first open source AI game. Hey, Gary. A Futureverse partner revealed and a whole bunch of ecosystem updates. So give that like button, um, bunnies up, and let's get into it. Okay, let's start off with an announcement. From Good luck, everyone.